good morning you guys welcome back to another vlog with me it is wednesday june 21st I wanted to pick up my camera and just kind of vlog my day for you guys I'm also going to show you guys the dark sport collection that is dropping this sunday so yeah we're going to run through that little try on haul and just show you guys all the pieces i got sent and just kind of my sizing how everything's fitting all that stuff it is the American Wolf collection and it's super, super fucking cute. So, um, yeah, we'll go through that. And I have a rest day today, so I'm gonna do a few errands, get a lot of client work done. Um, kind of a busy few next weeks I have. So, just trying to stay ahead of, on everything and just really putting my head down and getting to work. I tried to vlog. <laughs> this past weekend which was john's first show um it was the dallas pro-am and i started vlogging on like thursday i think and i just kind of fell off because i really wanted to be present for this show and just kind of be as helpful as i could be for him and just get everything done and it was kind of just i don't know it was just like the last thing on my mind like carrying my camera around and be like okay we're heading to finals so I just didn't do that but he's gonna have a show day vlog dropping pretty soon so make sure you guys check that out he won um his class in the classic physique overall and it was such a fun day like it was so so special just seeing him really shine up there and just like all his hard work paying off so we're gonna do it again in another weekend the universe show in jersey so i'll try to vlog more of that since it will be like traveling um and i feel a little bit better since the first one is done but yeah i'll try to vlog more of that but yeah this is just gonna be a chill vlog you know just my typical weekly bullshit that i do put a poll on my instagram kind of asking what you guys wanted to see from me and it was just a day in my life plus a dark sport haul and i was like perfect because that's all i have to offer right now <laughs> oh yeah but anyways what else has been new texas is so unbelievably disgustingly hot <laughs> I like I'm so fucked up like with this heat it is well it's only 87 right now and it's 10 30 a.m but it's been like hundreds and everybody in Texas is like oh just wait it gets worse I'm like okay well I'm I'm not having a fun time so don't tell me that but yeah <laughs> anyways I'm gonna finish up this client work for a little bit and then maybe do the try on haul first i think i might do that because john is gone right now he's at the gym he took my car so i'm stuck at home for a little bit anyway so i might just do the try on haul first okay so stay tuned oh also if my video quality looks a little different i got a new camera i typically record on this one it's the sony zv1 but I got the Canon G7X, honestly, because it takes really cute digital pictures and I want to start like taking more like lifestyle content, you know, once I have a social life here in a few weeks. So I got the Canon G7X and I'm going to try vlogging on it, see how it looks when I upload this. But let me know if you guys like this quality or the Sony ZV-1 better. They're like the same thing, like they're both just little vlogging cameras. I'm never going to be a YouTuber that has a big ass camera. So if you guys are looking for that out of me, just it's, it's not going to happen. Like my I, like. So, OK, let me give you guys like a, a backstory on me. Like growing up, um, like when I was like in my when I was like 12, like basically middle school, I would watch all these little beauty YouTubers like they literally raised me. And it's so crazy because a lot of them aren't into YouTube anymore but that that was just like my thing like and then i got into watching like vloggers and very just like lifestyle content and that's the shit like i eat up and that's the stuff i really enjoy like i'm i'm not gonna be someone that makes crazy workout edits like unless i'm paying someone to do it for me or i'm like doing like a prep series then maybe i will but yeah like my vlogs are chill very minimal editing that's just what i enjoy to watch and that's what i like to that's how i like to edit and stuff so 
yeah just me and my little vlogging cameras against the world but okay i'm gonna finish up this client work and then let's dive into this try on haul okay you guys i just got ready and i'm gonna start trying on all these dark sport pieces for you guys i'm also filming a little try on just really good instagram reel because like i've just been like the worst influencer ever lately so i'm trying to be better but so starting off with this beautiful set this is dark sports halter bra are you fucking kidding me but yeah this is the kataya everson seamless shorts this is like a purpley black wash it's so fucking badass and then this halter bra so the halter bra clasp at the back and it's almost just like a normal bra hook so there's three different levels you can clasp it on honestly i'm wearing mediums up top and on the bottom and the medium shorts fit perfect like i just always do mediums i'm just tried and true to mediums i don't I would rather have a little bit more extra fabric than them being too tight on me. But this bra, I think I could size down. Like, I kind of wish I got a small just to give my girls a little, mm -mm, you know what I'm saying? But I do think you can size down in this bra because it is so stretchy and it has the clasp to adjust the um, length of this. So, I don't know. I might order another one of these and get a small. Just because they're super cute and they're going to be cute for hitting upper body. Like, are you fucking joking me? So, love these. Huge fan. I'll probably put the names of everything, like, down in the corner. Because I need to, like, go through the preview and make sure I'm calling these the right things. But for reference, I say this in every video. I am 5'5". I weigh about 140 pounds right now. My waist is, like, a 26, typically. And I'm about a 36C up top, but honestly, the girls are getting a little bit smaller as I continue <laughs> to lean out. But um, those are my stats, and I just almost always do a medium, but like I said, I think I could do a small on this. So just putting that out there. Let's try on the next thing. Okay, next up we have this freaking beautiful color pattern. Like, what? I'm a cloud I'm a cloud and it's so so pretty this is the Everson seamless bra Everson seamless shorts and I really really love the little badge that they added on these shorts I mean they've had these in the past but I don't think like on these type of shorts not like this length and this cut these are like the more high-rise ones compared to the ones I was just in. But you can even fold it down if you really want to. I actually wore this, wore this to the gym yesterday. So I'm a huge fan. I'm doing a medium and a medium. For some reason though, these shorts feel stretchier than usual. And I do think I could have done a small. But like I said, like, I don't know. I just kind of do a medium because it's a safe bet for me. Like if I get a little bit thicker, if I get away a little bit leaner, it's going to fit regardless. But I want to put on this little powerhouse gym tank. These are like very compressive. Of course, of course I got makeup on this. Like, how would I not? Do you guys also like the headbands I'm wearing? These are just like a three pack from Amazon. But I think they're cute. But also Dark Sport does sell little headbands like this. And I think they say wolves on the top. I kind of want to get one for like the gym. But okay. The cut of these shirts is fucking phenomenal. I feel like literal superwoman. But this is a medium top and I actually really love this. I'm going to wear this on my upper body day next. Thumbs up. Next up, we have a little bikini on. Now, I'm not 100% sure if this exact print of bikini is dropping. But all the dark sport bikinis are like the, sim the same exact thing, just a different print. But I really like them because they're super high cut um, and you can crank them up on your hips, which I love. And then it has the wolves right down here. Um, they are a thong cut, so yeah, just letting you guys know. These little purple sweats. 
love i love the big wolf on these i think that looks really good these are a medium and honest honestly in sweats i feel like i could size up to a large for just an even baggier fit they're the women's sweats so they fit pretty like not they're not super oversized like their hoodies are the bikini top i do a medium top and medium bottoms top is nice because it's really adjustable so next up we have these ribbed little t-shirts i love these i think these are so cute and just like simple to throw on even if you're not going to the gym like these are such a good little baby tee for like going out doing errands or whatever you're doing you know i just think they're cute and simple not like huge branding which i love i have this in the brown and it's like one of my favorite things but this is the white i actually think these ones are a little bit longer than usual which i kind of like this is like a high neck bra i think this is new or i've just never had one but it crosses in the back as well which i think is super cute and I honestly didn't think I would love this on me just because I feel like high neck can be kind of unflattering. I don't know, just kind of, I don't know. I don't have a lot of high neck things, but I really like the way this looks. I think it'd be cute for like a shoulder day. Hey, a shoulder day or even just like a leg day. Super cute, but wearing a medium. And then these are just medium black Kataya shorts from like an older drop, but I feel like they'll have black dropping because it's just like a staple. But yeah, super cute. I'm a fan. All right, and then we have this Powerhouse Gym gray crop tee with yellow writing, which I love. So the gym that basically like raised my ass is a Powerhouse Gym back in Michigan. And I don't know, it just kind of hits home. I really like this though. I think this is gonna be perfect for a leg day. I always um, tuck them in underneath too just because I think it looks cute and really like snatches everything in a way but cute cute this is a medium and I think it's like the perfect bagginess for me okay trying on one more t-shirt for you guys this one's really oversized like I need to check if I got a medium yeah this is a medium and this one is giving dress but I fucking love it when it's giving dress, like that's my personal favorite. Such a cool back. Like, are you kidding me? You guys, you cannot go wrong with the oversized tees. I just, I love them. I really do. They are my sleep shirts. They're my leg day shirts. They're my everyday shirt. Like, I feel like I'm always in a dark sport. Baggy tee. Sometimes I have to remind myself that it's okay to wear like fitting clothes. <laughs> but I love this one. I think the LA details are so cute. And yeah. Another piece. I actually threw this back on with the purple and black set because I think it goes really cute together. But this men's zip up. I am such a fan. We were able to pick out like the pieces we wanted. I was like, I really want like an oversized zip up, like a black one specifically. Because I love like bringing this to like a coffee shop or like on the plane, wherever I need something where I know it's going to be cold, but I want to be able to take it on and off easily, if that makes sense. I'm always cold, except for when I'm outside in Texas, but yeah, I think this is so cute. The detailing is really nice. It says, what does it say? It says Wolves Forever on one sleeve and then Los Angeles Forever on another sleeve. And this is a men's medium, so it's very, very oversized, but I love it. I will be leave, living in this. I've, I got this package on Sunday, and I've worn this every single day around the house, and it's Wednesday, so I'm a huge fan. Okay, last thing I'm gonna show you guys, I think I said that about the last item, but I remembered I wore this to the gym yesterday, so it's a little bit dirty. But since I love you guys, I wanted to show you guys. <laughs> and this is just another LA oversized tee. I really like the back of this one. As you can see, it says LA really big with the wolf head. And you just cannot go wrong with the oversized tees, guys. I get a medium and she's a dress. But I personally love it. So if you want a little bit less oversized, size down in these. I personally love when it's really big. It feels great on leg days for me and if i'm just like not feeling great i'll just throw in a baggy t-shirt and all as well okay but that is gonna wrap up the mini little dark sport try on haul 
There are so many other pieces releasing, so make sure you check out the preview for these. Make sure you kind of understand what you want to snag, know your sizing, know your card information so you can kind of check out really fast so you can get everything you want. If you guys use code K at checkout, please let me know. Either send me a screenshot or tag me in your stories. I love to see what you guys got. And so thank you so, so much. If you choose to support me, it means more than you'll ever know. I hope you guys love this collection as much as I do. There's some really good pieces. So yeah, that's going to wrap up this little try-on section of the vlog. And now we get back to regular life. Thank you. <laughs> Whoa, the zoom on this is crazy. Really? Yeah. And it doesn't make noise when I zoom in. Like my Sony. Guys, not much has happened since the last time I checked in with you. I'm just gonna... <laughs> I can't talk in front of you. Why are you just so nervous? I don't know. I just do. You do the same thing. No, I'm getting better. Okay. I'm just gonna finish up my client work and then go and do my cardio. Ooh. And then we'll see like what else the day has in store for me. But haven't left the apartment all day except for our morning walk. So that's fun. Really good. Out. Yeah, it is 100 degrees out. But, yeah, that's about it for now. So, I wanted to go to the mall today and, like, go to Abercrombie and pick up some jean shorts. Because they're, like, all sold out online. But I think I'm just going to order some stuff from Princess Polly. Because they have some cute things. But I want to, like, give you guys a sneak peek. And I hope that it comes in time next week. Where did that dress go? The fuck? This. Isn't that cute? And then these little jean shorts. Love. And then I want like a blue bikini for the 4th of July. We'll see what else I want to order. Cardio done. Do y'all hear those fucking bugs? Like, it's actually terrifying. I think they're cicadas. I don't even know, but it is so hot. It feels like 115 out. So. Just have 30 minutes to do today, so it's not too bad. And for cardio, I always just do incline walking and I set my incline up to usually 10.5 to like 12 kind of depends on what what gym I'm at and my speed is like 3.2 so it gets my heart rate to the heart rate I need for me and my goals so that's what we do I also no one's in here so I can talk I got these on um, well I got these on cloud shoes I like them so far they're kind of run narrow so keep that in mind if you have a wider foot because your girl does but yeah let's get this cardio done okay done with my cardio and I'm taking my opportunity to talk in here while I can because the lighting is fire but I did not want to do that session at all I honestly rarely ever want to train or do cardio. Like I don't really have like a fire lit under my ass. I'm not really, like I'm not working towards a show. I'm not working towards, you know, squatting this number or whatever. Like it's simply just me showing up consistently and doing the same things over and over day to day to lead up to a greater result. 
and most of the time I do not have a single ounce of motivation to do it. It's honestly just comes down to your routine, your habits, how you control your day. Like, do not get me wrong. I know how blessed I am to be in the position to work from home, go to the gym in the middle of the day, make all my meals at home. Like, I am so, so blessed, but I also knew a year or two ago that that was something I was working towards. I was working towards this life because I knew that it would it would fix so many things for me. Not fix, but also just like, it would allow me to live the life that I had dreamed of for years. And even back when I wasn't, you know, coaching, like online coaching from home or um, influencing, I say influencing because I really just like, that's not my main source of income like at the end of the day and to be honest i'm a shitty influencer but <laughs> whatever that's besides the point for all this i would still make when i got serious into the gym i would still make it a priority to go to the gym i would pack my gym bag and go to the gym right after work so there was no excuse not a moment of doubt for me to go home lay down and be like oh yeah i'm just not going to the gym today like i made it a routine a habit a part of my life and that's what carries you through all this as far as nutrition goes honestly my nutrition didn't get great until just recently but before then i would still try my best to like pack my meals for work um say no to like ordering like a sub at work like just little things like that like added up like the little things add up and don't think that all the little changes you're trying to make for yourself aren't going to lead to something bigger. Like you need to understand that it will. It's just not going to come overnight. That's just not how life works. You really need to rely on your routine, your structure, your habits over any ounce of motivation because motivation will get you nowhere, especially with your physique goals. Like it's just not going to happen. If we were all motivated every single day, that'd be fucking lit, but that's just not how it is. So my two cents <sighs> we're done with cardio and i think i'm gonna like pose a little bit don't come for me though because i don't know what i'm doing so So I'll give you guys like a little update on what my current situation is though. A bit of a diet break. I think I mentioned that in my last video, but in a bit of a diet break until like after these next few weeks of traveling, then we're gonna push again for another good nudge into a calorie deficit and just see like how lean I can get with that. Don't stare at me. <laughs> just see how lean I can get with that. And then from there, probably build up a little bit enter like a slight surplus and then hopefully compete sometime next year but i'm in no rush i'm pretty happy with how like i've been able to transform my body just within the last few months so i'm excited to keep at it and i just want to be a really good version of myself when i do step on stage and not regret setting on stepping on stage so yeah i don't know how those poses look but like my quads aren't fucking massive, but I literally, f I feel like my hamstrings and my glutes are gonna like, I feel like they're just gonna really hold down for, I don't know, but. Okay, let's head back and I have some calls with clients, new clients, and then just need to get some work done. Yeah. It's not a lot has happened since the last time I saw you. But what I did do is that I went on a rant on Instagram. Basically just talking about how the foods that you're using to hit your macros, your meal plan, whatever it is, matter. Like you can't just be filling your macros with three Starbucks drinks, maybe a little crunch wrap supreme i don't fucking know but basically what i was just saying 
is that you need to focus on putting real good foods into your body and you're gonna feel a lot better you're gonna be satisfied after your meals actually and you don't need to be buying all these crazy supplements that are out there sure they can help like if you have a really high protein goal and you want to put one shake in your day by all means do it but yeah i just had a little rant on instagram if you saw it hope you enjoyed it but now it's time for me to eat <laughs> what's for dinner what's for dinner john oh. <laughs> yeah i got a bird yeah, John gets a burger and fries. I'm gonna have sweet potato, chicken and cucumbers. So I need to make my sweet potatoes really quick. What else did I wanna talk about? <laughs> um, cook my sweet potatoes. First, wash it off. Then you're gonna... Mm, that is way too big of a knife. Then you're gonna stab it a few times. So it doesn't explode in the microwave. And then I'm gonna put it in the microwave and all I do is I just press the potato button. Let it cook and then after that, we're gonna chop it into cubes and put it in the pan to get them a little bit crispier. We'll keep you updated. <laughs> I'm gonna cook up some chicken as well because I'm running low. But in my last video, I kind of talked through this and I just put my chicken in a pan. I do tender loins and just season them up. And these last me like a few days. But this is my current fave way to cook chicken because I get sick of chicken. gonna have sweet potato tonight but I did chop it up and I'm gonna put it in a tub over so I can just put it in the pan tomorrow when I want to have it because we just have a lot of rice left over so I'd rather just use that in my meal tonight but I'll show you guys how I construct my little chicken rice concoction it's actually been really good and I like it I enjoy it so that's exciting because I usually really I don't like this meal not the best way to finish my day. So, white rice cucumber, chicken, and then I add salt, pepper, and a little bit of that Thai sweet chili sauce. You're not in it. I feel like it's not focusing on my face. And then I might add, I barely have any of this left, but like a little bit of chili garlic sauce because I'm very big on the hot sauces, sauces in general. But that's the last meal of the day i'm just taking all my vitamins with this last meal so they don't just sit in my throat right before bed because i used to do that and it really would not feel good so don't take vitamins right before you go to bed take it with your last meal of the day You guys, it is seven o'clock and it's 98 degrees out. Like, I've never experienced anything like this. Like, Texas is so humbling. Oh my gosh, it's gonna storm like any minute now. But it sucks because we really love our little porch patio and we like can barely come out here because it's not enjoyable. I'm going back inside. But I'm about to shower in a little bit and kind of just going to take you guys through like my typical weekday evening routine. I did a, a little morning routine on here and I really enjoyed filming that because it kind of, sh it, it showed me like areas of my life I know I can improve in. 
and something since that morning routine video I've gotten really good about is I do go on a walk every morning with John pretty much as soon as I wake up. John's already been up for like a few hours, but we typically go at like 7.38 before it gets really hot here. And it's just like a quick 20 minute walk, but it really sets such a nice tone for the day. And I usually just don't bring my phone and he does, I think he brings his phone, but we just don't go on them. And we're just like very present, having good talks. And yeah, it's just a really good way to start the day. Then after that, I like to journal, um, write down some thoughts I'm having and just like intentions for the day. And then after that, make the bed, start to make my breakfast, eat. Then I get started on client work. I like to, I've been really good about like setting boundaries with myself and I typically start working around like 9 a.m. And then I try to get off my laptop by like 7 p.m. I might respond to like a few client messages, but typically like nine to seven is like my working hours. But I usually take like a midday break because I'm at the gym and my phone's like always on do not disturb. But I think just like having good boundaries with like one yourself and your time is so so important whether it's in a relationship your business friendships all that stuff like it's so so important to make sure you have time spent for yourself and just um, things that make you happy at the end of the day and that's something i've really learned through like running my own business is that like you need to just set boundaries and you know things are going to change clients will come and go and that's just kind of how life is like and i've learned a lot through my coaching business in the past year and i just i continue to get better and better and it's really exciting to see and it's something i'm so passionate about but um, i'm also learning that like you need to have boundaries point blank period in all regards of life uh, chill on the couch for a bit and then I will like hop in the shower, do my skincare, all that good stuff. But I also think another thing that's really been helpful in my night routine is that I try to drink like three of my Stanley cups before I get in bed. And I also try to finish my last meal like right around seven. Cause we typically go to bed around like 10, 30, 11. And then that allows me like three-ish hours of digestion prior to going to bed. Like you shouldn't eat right before going to bed optimally just because it like messes with you know hormone levels all that stuff so and like your digestion for sure and then I wake up the next morning like pretty hungry and feeling nice and light and tight so that's been a really good change I used to eat my last meal kind of around like 8 30 like 9 and yeah it's way better on your digestion and overall sleep quality so really it's been so nice like the past month few months just having very like mundane rep repetitive days because it's allowed me to like slow down and focus on so many wellness habits that i needed to implement for myself like these daily walks paying attention to my eating schedule paying attention to how much water i'm drinking like all these things are paying off so so much and the overall consistency with them has truly made a world of difference so yay we love that and i want to keep it up for the rest of my life like 100 percent. so yeah i'm gonna chill for a bit and then we'll take a shower oh and also <coughs> i know i sound like my vlogs are repetitive and i don't think it's a bad thing i just like sometimes i'm like damn i wish i had like something fun to show you guys but this is just my life and this is how i'm living and it's a pretty simple one but i'm so happy with it like truly like where i was at a year ago versus today is like a night and day difference so i'm just thankful and grateful for that but yeah i love you guys thank you for always supporting me through it all and i'm like my youtube fan, my little youtube family here makes me so happy because i truly feel like this is a platform where i can really really be myself and that's something i'm kind of struggling with lately it's just like I'm so lost on what to post on TikTok and Instagram. Like at the end of the day, I know what I want to post, but like it's so much easier for me to record for YouTube for some reason. Like I just don't feel like setting up my phone and recording like a day in my life for TikTok or YouTube because I feel like it just almost doesn't catch people's attention on there. 
So I've been having a really hard time with social media in general lately. As much as I love YouTube though, I'm, I'm still not being as consistent as I'd like. Um, but yeah, you know, that's life. There's highs and lows to everything. And I think many people can relate to this, whether you're a content creator or just, you know, a person that just posts on social media for fun. Like there's highs and lows to creativity. And I think a big thing that I want to focus on moving forward is consuming less social media like i need to just do less scrolling overall because i think it really hinders my creativity i think i just gained this whole mindset of comparing myself to others and asking myself why i'm not like this person or why does my apartment apartment not look like that person's you know like silly things like that so if you find yourself lacking creativity you might want to consume less social media and i think that's something that i needed to hear for myself but okay, enough rambling. Let's get into the evening routine. I got done with my shower and now I'm gonna take you guys through basically what I've been doing for skincare lately. I always take off any extra makeup with micellar water and just a cotton round. And I'll go into the details of like what every day looks like. So every three days I'll exfoliate with this Polish Choice BHA exfoliant with a cotton round. Then after I use the Good Molecules, Good Molecules toner. And I use this every night actually. So that's been good. I got sent this and I really enjoy it. I like their products. And then after that, I go in with a moisturizer. I actually need to get like a PM nighttime moisturizer. I just like haven't done that. So here we are. But yeah, so that's like night one. I do those three things. Let me show you the cleanser I use too. Face wash I use. I've been using this for like two years and I swear this saved my skin because my skin used to be fucked up. I wash my face in the shower, I don't care if that's not correct. That's just personally what I do. <laughs> and then on the second day of my rotation, I'll use my Polish Choice Retinol, go in with the toner, and then the moisturizer. And now I'm on the third day, so all I do is use toner and moisturizer. I want to get um, a prescription for tretinoin. Tretinoin? Tretinoin? I don't fucking know how to pronounce it. I think it's called tretinoin. <laughs> I don't know, but I literally was like filling out a form for it last night. So I'm going to try to get it. And I will update you guys on it works out for me but yeah I keep my skincare like pretty simple but it's been working really well for me for the past few years so I'm not gonna like change it up or add in a bunch of crazy shit because I just don't want my skin to like act up but comment down below if you have like good nighttime moisturizers because i've looked up a f like a few like tiktoks on what's good but i'm always open to recommendations i just need to go to like ulta or sephora this week and pick it up i've just been lazy but i use this moisturizer that has spf in it every night and every morning so yeah that's that but i'm feeling like fancy or i feel the need to do this i'll take my facial ice globes and just like gently rub them on my face and it feels so good i need to do this more often or like gua sha on my face more often because it really does make a difference in like your jawline 
and just like the puffiness in your face feels so good and then that's about it for my facial skincare if i have like a zit i will use this spot treatment literally neutrogena hi focus rapid clear but if i have a zit i put that sucker on and it's like gone by the morning so neutrogena must be doing something right and then i've been using like this aquaphor chapstick at night i'm a fan my body skincare this is what i've been doing okay one if you ever get like ingrown hairs use this you just put a little bit like on a cotton round and rub it over the area that hasn't ingrown and it works so well i use this like in my bikini area because i tend to get like some ingrowns around there from waxing i also have been using this for body oil I'm on like my brazilian wax area and it helps like with um redness and bumps and then all over my like mostly my stomach and like my arms i use this French I don't know, it's the brand from Taria that I'm like obsessed with. I use this little body oil and it's in Lavender Cloud. So good. So good. All over. You already know. Best lotion ever. But okay, I'm going to rub all these potions all over my body and then I'll let you know what I do with my hair. Now that my whole body is nice and moisturized. I'm gonna clean my ear piercings <laughs> real quick. These actually feel pretty healed already, so that's great. They were kind of hurting for like a week or so. Now for my hair, I'm literally, my hair was done last Wednesday. Like I went to the hair salon. They washed it, all that good stuff. But it has stayed like so clean since then, since they gave me like a double wash. But like my hair doesn't even feel gross and it's been a whole week. So that's great, but I'll probably wash it tomorrow. But for now, I'm just gonna put in the Kevin Murphy Young Again hair oil and probably like a little bit of this day hair oil. I just kinda wanna get rid of it. So we're gonna use it in my my ends are pretty dry since it has been like a week since I've washed my hair. But I for real think I'm gonna get my extensions out at my next hair appointment, which is in like August. So I'm gonna be bald is basically what I'm saying. So that will be a really fun journey. <laughs> I'm also supposed to get my, I'm supposed to take a break from acrylics, so things are getting pretty serious. And then I like to sleep in like a low braid because it keeps my hair like wavy for the following day and whatnot. out of my face which is nice that is my little night routine eating routine that i do every damn day but it's not even nine yet it's 8 33 so that's beautiful it's a great sign i'm um, gonna hop in bed probably watch some game of thrones that's what we've been doing lately and that will finish off the vlog because my camera's about to die anyways but i love you guys Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you in the next one.